Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have gameplay from Cookie, and this game is at the very end of last patch, right before the nerfs, but it was worth putting up here, even though it is slightly outdated, it doesn't really get impacted by the cards that were changed. But this might be the world's weakest first place board. I know spoilers, first place, but you're gonna watch the middle of this game and be like, how the hell does this turn into first place? And I'll tell you what, Sometimes it's less important to build a good board yourself than to just counter the boards that other people are building. Because if they can't get their combos off and their combo oriented decks, basically like the, the Leapfroggers type of boards, then uh, yeah, you spoil what they're doing and you can just have vanilla stuff on the board and it just wins by default. It's a funny one, an amusing one. But you know what? Sometimes this is all you get and you can get a nice little finish out of random crap. All right, enjoy. Micro Mummy. I guess we're just wrong. They changed it behind the scenes. It was confirmed by the devs. It was confirmed. This time, not true. Like the devs literally said, yeah, oh wow, that's actually the case. Keck W, Keck W, they changed it. But at some point behind the scenes, they're like, oh good, we'll fix that one in one of the hot fix. Misinformation, true. It's now wrong, but it was right at the time, right? Like we just didn't know that it changed. Now we know. We're learning together. Remember a month ago when you got two discoveries? Yep. That would happen like if you just hear a power of the same thing multiple times, you would only get two instead of three minions. Ye, I'm with you. I just look silly right now. Man. We'll go four on four. We'll go up. We'll go up together. Our cards suck. These minions are terrible. But to be fair, the place that it was confirmed by a dev, they basically said, oh, wow, that's the case. We need to fix that. It was basically the line. And in the scenario, it appears that they did fix it. You're going to need some contrast. M's hiding in the darkness. It got too dark for... No. No! Match! Beanie's too dark, Bofer. I prefer the gray ones. Eh, I just didn't change today. I was not wearing my, my streaming clothes. I just forgot before I started up the stream. Ain't the end of the world. Alright, these are just terrible shops for Cookie. Like, this is a 0 out of 10 Cookie game. This is nuts. Like, this is what I've got to do? I'm going to be holding a fuck another fucking minion, man. Why couldn't that have been my first board? Eat the rat pack. Nah. Nah, I'm gonna level. Hero power the Naga and or the other minion that's in the new in the shop. Take a minion and put rat pack on the board. We have to sell something next turn if we play Smogger here. So we're playing it entirely for tempo and we have bird buddy rat pack. I feel like we shouldn't be playing for tempo here. Don't you dare snipe my bird, buddy. Good enough. Don't you fucking kill my bird, buddy. Not the sewer rat. I mean, we're going to buy the rat pack over the sewer rat for next board. We're going to use this to go to five. Oh. Look at you. You're cute. I'd rather have undead than Naga. We're not going to buy the other one. 
Hog. Smogger's gonna get value, guys. It's coming. Easy value, copium. See the turd musk wants to create anti-woke AI. I, I don't think I've ever heard a sentence that uses the term woke. That inspired my confidence in the project. Like, anybody that's trying to appeal to the people that freak out by the word woke? It feels like a PR gimmick at that point. Oh no! Gotta, gotta get rid of the wokeness! Oh god! Not the woke! Organic woke only? I mean, Dozy, Dozy Welp needs nerf because it's woke. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, like, you gotta get in the know here. You gotta watch out for the woke Dozy Welp. This ain't even a joke. The buff on Dozy Welp, the one star dragon, is called woke. Wake up, sheeple. Wake up, sheeple. The woke Dozy Welp is taking over Tavern 1. <laughs> Goddamn. Can't even meme without laughing. Alright, well, I guess we're just gonna be leveling. We'll probably try to play the triple, right? Naga Pirate, like, it's just so bad. It's just so blah. Bird Buddy, save me! My 15, 15, and random 2 and 3 attack minions. Sheeple sounds really cute. That sound kind of cute. Ah, yeah, yeah. Aw, look at some sheeple. The black beanie. The black beanie threw off chat today. I didn't even think about it. I started up the stream. I was late because, you know, work went late. And I was like, all right. Stream time. This is just kind of what I wear in my own time. Casual, casual parkway beanie and a the Slipknot t-shirt and a flannel. I started up the stream, I was like, yeah, it's good enough, and shit, I forgot. I need to put on a hat that's actually visible, so I'm not a floating head. Rip. Oh, look at that board. That's a pretty exciting board for, for turn seven. Our bird buddy is a, a master ninja, though, and dodges attacks, so. We got that going for us. Zeph wins the lobby, I mean, once again... We always have this conversation about having direction and having potential in the future does not mean you win the next round. And if you don't win the next round, you're dead. So who knows? Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. Uh, these are, these are twos and three stars, Bob. As much as I like to pick up the macaw pair as well. actually just like an absurdly good board, right? Can't say that's what I was aiming for, but whatever. Yeah. Wasn't really my thought at the beginning of the turn. Let's just like make you huge. I miss my bird buddy already. My bird bro is gone. Turn eight, large thing. Who knows what we do next turn? Aww. He has Ghoul of the Feast. Therefore, he's better than Large Thing. Because this is like a billion more stats than everything else. Hmm. Feels like cheat, not gonna lie. Bur this card, please, please significantly nerf this tomorrow. Alright, we're getting that brand off the board. 
There you go. Good job. But you got an extra 1-1 one, one from the bird. I just want to keep the pair around. And the fact that we're taking a random 6-star as well. Like, the bird is, is still high value. The card has an effect. It has value. Hmm. I don't think we're going to 6. It's close, though. We've gone the long way around to get the beasts. <laughs> okay. Heck, wait, dude. What is even happening this game? We kind of have to just do it all, right? got a cleave on the board before like we're gonna die if we don't we don't play stats it's too late for us to be greedier than that no taunt on the the mantid good good mama bear well done man mama bear coming through clutch ball's pretty good with naga yeah i mean it's just too late like, we're not going to get through these rounds with, like, bullshit random stuff. Once we hit the the golden ball, we're just going to play it all through for the doubled stat line on the big 80-80. Or 40-80, or whatever it was. So we could win off of Macaw? Or off of Leapers? I mean, the Naga Discover? Yeah. The, you could put the... The... Whatever the fuck it's called genie on the board as well if he had more taunts or something definitely debatable bleepers I mean we can kind of pull that direction play here thanks dude you know a little foot appreciate the nine months it's leapers I love leapers man it's my biggest weakness I just want to play leapers every game the game gives you a bunch of things, and they're like, you should be playing something not Leapers. And I'm like, but what about Leapers? Have you just considered that it could be Leapers instead? This is so awkward because I want to buy Leapers, but I can't get my hero power now. Could just freeze. Could hero power leapers. <laughs> Not selling the other things. I don't know. So be it. Now the question is do we want leapers on the board or not? We always want leapers on the board. They're adorable. They're adorable little leapings. I just check Bofer and there's no Christopher registered in the US. I didn't believe uh, I can't believe you didn't tell us your real name. Shit. Someone checked. We're fucked. The lie has been exposed. I thought we were going to get away with it too if it wasn't for you meddling kids. Damn. Now you're going to want to know what my real name is. We're going to have to think of another elaborate lie. Because Christopher was so believable. <laughs> I was 100% sure you were... <laughs> you were being honest there. <laughs> that was elaborate? Yeah, that was the, the pinnacle of my level of creativity. 
That was it. Don't expect more. These are trash. This is not trash. We're just gonna die with this bullshit on the board. And it's gonna be okay. I love you, little buddy. Come back to me, Leapies. Come back home. Oh, shit. But it's time to go in. No Barons. Not gonna happen. Just Mama Bear and baseline stats. Not both Bartholomew. Bartholomew. What's your name? Barf. Full name, Bartholomew. There you go. Old school references. I don't mind the, the taunt and the rat, but really this is a play toward a triple, right? Or a Baron. We would still pivot back with Baron. Not in here. This is a Mercedes. It's almost exactly like the next, it's like the next line right after it, isn't it? Impressive. It has been a decade, at least a decade, probably 20 years since I've seen that movie. But you said it and it was like, yeah, that is the next line. Damn, that sticks with you. Beautiful. Not in here, sir. This is a Mercedes. I gotta watch that some night. Watch it again. Old school night. Watch that in airplane. A ghost claimed a soul. Good. 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 I actually have, like, the ghoul is such a good counter to him if he doesn't counterplay it, because it actually eats, like, half of his board. I want Baron so badly right now. Warren. There's Baron. My dude. What's up? How are you? Now we would need uh, Selfless Hero as the next play. Seems pretty good. Seems like that's where we are in this game. Hmm. Unless we really wanted to play like Macaw first. What's up, dog? What is up, dog? Macaws are so bad at the moment, it's funny. Like, we're entirely a counter... a counterboard to them. Uh, we can actually do this next turn. We're not built for our board to be strong. We're built for their board to implode to this combo. We will see, because we're going to need some real nice hits off of Selfless Hero, and we're going to need him not to have put health on his minions. See? The Ghoul Baron kills the Summoner with the Baron board. Spawns it back. He no longer has his combo. <laughs> we have garbage, but he has garbage too! Easy game! <laughs> we have nothing! <laughs> oh, that's great. We just won that game with absolutely nothing. I don't understand how your board wins. We just killed all this shit at once. It's like beating Leapfroggers. The board has the same weakness. Leapfroggers can just lose everything in a ghoul combo. So does his board. We looked at his last board and went, yeah, we're not going to beat that if we fight it straight up. So let's just go get Baron and Ghoul. And if he doesn't build correctly around it, he doesn't get the health high enough. He loses all of his shit at once and he only has like four minions on the board. Four 40-40s don't beat your board. That worked out perfectly. Feels good, man.